Okay, uh, there's two different operational modes in Constantine's question there, or in his example there. So, you know, on the surface, one of the questions slash examples would be running, you know, two, two Bloodhound templates um, as a trade signal source, right? So let's, let me just load something in here. All right. Yeah, so here's the template that had the ATR trailing stop pullback signal. You know, so let's say that's, that's, one of the trade signals and then in this other other bloodhound you know, I'll just load up uh, load up my little crossover test there call it good just to throw a second one in there and let's see I'll do the price inflection with MACD alright so if you're running two bloodhounds, you know, in, in this scenario, well, basically these are trade signals. So, all right, so when Blackbird receives a trade signal from either one of these bloodhounds, right? I mean, and you could even have a third bloodhound or an indicator, right? Or an indicator based trade signal there. You know, so whenever Blackbird receives a trade signal from any of these three sources, it's going to open up a trade, right? It's going to initiate a trade there. So let's just create a, I'll just create a quick order set here, there. All right. So it doesn't matter which of these trade signals, you know, fires off a signal first. Whichever one comes first, well, that's going to open a trade position, right? And then if one of the other, or actually if any of these three trade signal sources, if it fires off a signal in the opposite direction, right, then Blackbird's going to reverse the trade, right? Of course, you know, according to, you know, the options here, as long as opposite signals force reversal trades, is, as long as that's still enabled, right, then any of these three trade signals can stomp on on the other one right can step on the other one so so to speak right so if the indicator you know if the indicator based if the indicator fires off a trade signal first then blackbird will open a position right now always keep in mind this this is an absolute that if a position is open there and so we have say like a long trade open uh, so the indicator fires off a long signal so we have a long trade open now if if uh, one of these bloodhounds also fires off a long trade signal right that is going to be ignored because we're black because a long position is already open Right, so it doesn't matter how many trade signals you have, you know, um, that that are being used. You know, if a position is already open, Blackbird's not going to keep scaling in and adding more positions. Right, once a position is open, that position has to finish and close out before another trade signal in the same direction. Right, so that's the key here. So if we have a long trade open, you know, Blackbird's not going to open another long trade until the current one is closed out, right? And it doesn't matter, you know, how many long signals we have coming from these from these bloodhounds, you know, or the indicator, right? So the way the trade signals work is they're all ORed together, right? So think of them as being all funneled into an OR node. So whichever one fires off a trade signal first, you now that'll open the position, doesn't matter which. And then if any of these trade signal sources uh, fires off a trade signal in the opposite direction, well, then that's gonna reverse the trade, right? So for example, if this bloodhound 
fired off a long signal so we have a long trade open and then the indicator fires off a short signal well that short signal is going to reverse the long trade into a short trade right so the long or so the short signal from the indicator would basically re reverse the position even though the long trade came from this this bloodhound signal right so so all of these trade signals are are joined together with an or logic node right um, so that that is one scenario here where you're using you know multiple bloodhounds you know or multiple trade signals so to speak and also just just to note remember there's there's little enable check boxes here so you can quickly turn off or disable some of those you know signal sources so right now only this bloodhound will be generating trades based on the signals right so this bloodhound is going to be ignored because it's disabled and the indicator is going to be ignored because it's disabled right so you can go in here and quickly you know enable and disable your trade signal source right so just remember think of this more think of these more generically as a trade signal source right all right so that's scenario number one working with multiple bloodhound um, templates you know or more correctly trade signal sources right so that's one scenario now and the other scenario that Constantine brought up is using a different bloodhound template for scaling in to a, to an existing position right so if you want to use a different bloodhound template for scaling in well then you definitely don't want this right so whichever you know bloodhound template is initiating the trade right that's the only bloodhound template that you want loaded as a trade signal source so you only want one trade signal source right and so if uh, so let's create a scale in order here right so order b will be our, our scale in order here and so if you want yeah order b to wait for a different bloodhound template signal then we're going to use the place after and for the trigger uh, we're going to use let's see where is it a bloodhound signal there it is just have to scroll down a little bit so the bloodhound signal trigger is at the bottom of the list here and so from here this is where we would load in that other bloodhound template All right so there we go we can see it right there so um so we could select say like our crossover test two and then maybe i want to use you know again my uh, little price inflection with the macd filter right and of course most likely you know if you're using a different bloodhound template you know to generate the scale in signals then most likely your signal trigger mode is going to be signals in the same direction so signals in the same direction of what as what right well it's going to be signals in the same direction as our main trade signal source right so if your trade signal source is generating a long trade then then your scale in then then you, the, your bloodhound signal that's being used for scaling in well it also needs to generate a long signal as well or you know who knows maybe maybe you built your bloodhound template in an opposite way so this secondary bloodhound template you know it generates short signals when you want to scale in you know into a long position you know so you could just select signals in the opposite direction there but yeah you know, i'd say probably 99 percent of the time you know people are going to build their 
their bloodhound signals so that you're using signals in the same direction, right? Meaning that if our, if our trade signal source generates a long signal, then our scale in bloodhound template is also probably going to be generating long signals as well to scale in another long position. So yeah, so there's basically the two different scenarios there that Constantine had brought up. Right. So again, if you're using a different Bloodhound file for the scale in signals, you know, you want to use that within the trigger, right? You want to use that within the Bloodhound signal trigger. You don't want to add that as a trade signal source. All right, so hopefully that added uh, a little clarity there for anybody who is wondering.